like, what do you say to the teacher who also is like, man, I just grew more than I ever thought I could. I've, I, I'm going to stay right here next year. I mean, they're tired, they're weary. And you said earlier, you know, that deep empathy too, like balancing it with the deep empathy. Like how do you encourage teachers now as we reflect on this school year and we move into next school year um, to really consider these, these points that you just touched while we're weary and while we feel as educators, like we have, we've just innovated so much. Can I take a breather? You know what I mean? Yes. Like how yes. do they reflect on now town with the loss? I think that also mourning the loss of was town. Yeah. And are there benches? On the journey, benches. Up the there I are mean, benches on I, the I, journey. I, I they are. Too on my hikes. So. I mean, I need a bench. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I was thinking about just as you were saying that, Shay, and I just thought of this, is that they've turned Was Town into an Airbnb. Ah! Right. <laughs> you can rent it out and go visit. And, that, and you can rent it out. You can go back. You can go back for like you know four or five days. You can relax. You can kind of go back there. You can, right? But it's an Airbnb. You don't own it, right? <sighs> Like we really belong hiking. We really belong on the moving forward. But yeah, you know what? We got to go back. The other thing is we got to go back. We got to find what we really value about what it was that we love so much. What is it about that that we right. love so much? Mm -hmm. And we need to put some of that stuff in our backpack. Well, that's the key. And we need to carry it with that's us. That's right. right. It's not all like we're always abandoning it. Right. It's not, it's, so it's not to suggest that there isn't any value there. And, and the other thing I want to make clear is I'm not advocating for hybrid teaching where no. half of your third graders are in the room and half of your third graders are on Zoom oh. and two others are God knows where. Like that's not what I'm advocating I'm glad for. you're clarifying. Nobody, yeah. nobody wants to teach that way. I'm also not that's advocating good. for sort of trying to teach second grade online. Yes. You know, what I'm, yes. So it, it's so what I'm saying, when I say not returning, yeah. I don't mean not Good. returning to in-person learning, Good. right? Good. Thanks. Because I absolutely think it's about in-person learning. It's about what disposition are we returning with? Yeah. Are we returning with a disposition of continuing to improve our practice? Or are we returning with a disposition of saying, I just want to do what I've always done, yes. right? And so does that make sense? So like, yes, yes, do I believe that teachers should be in a room with second grade children? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, of course, our campuses are built for that. Our schools are built for that. Yeah. What I'm really discussing is how do we see ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And one teacher I was talking to said, you know, I don't just want to go back to Nowtown. I want to go back to the basement of Nowtown. And I want to <laughs> lock the door. You know, like I want to. I want to be. I want. I'm. I, I'm drawn back to doing what I've always done so much, and I get it. Yeah. And yet I know that when I was breaking that schedule up in those mornings when I was a fourth grade teacher, that wasn't best for kids. Right. That's, right. and that's not how learning works, right? And so I needed to, I needed to do more than that, and I needed to get out of that natural comfort zone. Yeah. 